You are listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative, made possible by Robeson, High Tower Westchester, White Plains Hospital, and Michael Labriola Landscape Design. We are here for the BCW Summer Soiree, hosted by the Green Tree Country Club in New Rochelle. And this is a lot of fun. We're outside. We have Stacy. Schuster from Playland. She is the VP of Marketing and Sales. You know, when you think of summer and you think of uh, the sunshine, you think of the Dragon Coaster, right. you think of Rye Playland, you think of the, do you still have the log flume? We do have the log flume. We've got the beloved Dragon Coaster. You can't imagine. We had Mariah Carey last week riding the Dragon Coaster. Wow. Yeah. And do you still have concerts? We have, we're, we're Building back our concert series, it's been it's been very missed by people, and uh, we are trying to get it back in sync. And what about the fireworks? So we are doing fireworks. We just had phenomenal uh, crowds for July 3rd and July 4th, which was just great to see everybody down on the boardwalk. The rain broke for a minute, so that was nice. And uh, it was a ton of fun on fireworks night. And our next fireworks will be Labor Day weekend. Wow. So uh, when does the park officially close? I mean, you know, summer goes so fast. It's unbelievable. We're already into July here. Summer does go fast. So we've got a 93 day season. So it is a sprint. It is by no means a marathon. It is you're in and then you're not in. Uh, We end after Labor Day. We go to our weekend schedule. So up until Labor Day now, we are open every day except for Mondays. And then post Labor Day weekend, we open on the weekends. Since 1928, that's amazing. I follow one of the uh, Facebook groups, Save Rye Playland. Do do you know that group? I do know that group. Uh, Steve Vasco, who runs the group, one of the admins of the group, is a good, good friend of ours. And I don't know, if you follow it closely, then you'll know they post the most magnificent photos from the 20s and the 30s. It's unbelievable, the archival stuff that they have. And it's just their own photos that they've taken with their grandparents, with their parents. And I'll tell you something, it it, it was my favorite thing about taking this job was the multi-generational love of this park. I've never seen anything like it. You know, and it's, you don't have to go all the way to New Jersey or Hershey or, you know, not that those aren't great parks, but they're far away. And this is right, you know, in the backyard. So people from uh, Long Island can come or Rockland County or Fairfield County, Westchester County, all over. I mean, it's, it's drivable without, you know, uh, staying overnight in a hotel. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's more convenient than you could possibly imagine. And I have to say, it's the only park that I know of with the views from the sound that we have, it is spectacular. And speaking of the views on the sound, we also opened for the first time since 2019 our beach and pool, which people are loving to come back to. And we put up a 35 foot slide. I promise you it is the greatest babysitter you can ever imagine. The kids can go down it all day long. It's phenomenal. Uh, So it's it's wonderful. And yes, it is easy to get to. You can take the uh, MTA. You can take the the Hudson line, you can take, um, you could drive the B line, the bus system, you know, there's, there's tons of ways to get there. Question. So you have the hockey rinks and is the swimming pool still there or no, that's. So the swimming pool has reopened for the first time since, since before the pandemic, which is fabulous. Uh, We've changed it a little bit. Um, We've done a, a full renovation of the pool and it has a zero depth entry and a kitty park. So it's, it's very family friendly. Uh, we still have some lanes that you could do the swimming. Uh, and the ice rink is still very popular during the, uh, the winter months. People come all the time to, to skate and clubs and, and all kinds of things. Just so you know, as a kid, I used to go to Playland all the time. And speaking of the babysitter, that was pretty much, you know, uh, my parents would hire a chaperone and <laughs> Uh, you know, and away you, <laughs> you, you went. I remember my my vivid memory is uh, a, a cute babysitter had a green '70s Dodge Dart that she picked me up in and took me to Playland. It was one of the best days ever. I was like, this babysitter is hot. <laughs> <laughs> what a memory! What a memory! Again, one of the things I love about the job is the memories come flooding back. <laughs> yeah. And uh, back in the day, my dad did some advertising. He was the agency a long time ago. You know, he's almost 90 now. But he was responsible for designing that dragon, which I think you may still use. Yeah. 
we do still use the dragon. It, again, it's one of the beloved parts of the park. So we've, we, we've got to pay homage to the dragon. Well, I'm sure he's going to love to hear that. And also the train. What, what is that ride? The train that goes around. It's, it's awesome. It goes around Kitty Land. It's phenomenal. The kids absolutely love it. The laughter. My office overlooks Kitty Land. So I get to hear the kids laughing all day long in my office. I, I can't think of a better place to work, quite honestly. It's just, it's laughter and it's fun and it's multi-generational and it's memories. And if you haven't been in a while, come. It's, it's great. Tom Hanks in Big, that movie was shot there. Wasn't numerous uh, things shot there? Yes, so we have a long history with film and television, um, Mariah Carey's Fantasy, and she does come back to come and visit the coaster every now and again. Uh, some famous scene from Fatal Attraction, scarily was in it. <laughs> um, Tom Hanks on the boardwalk with Zoltar was, you know, synonymous with Playland Park. So yeah, we have a long and storied history with um, with film and t TV. So the 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 um, fatal attraction scene is that on the dragon coaster by any chance? <laughs> that is on the dragon coaster. So if you see a blonde woman with a little kid, just turn your head. It's. <laughs> I, I have to say, you know, now that I'm older, I'm not a big fan of coasters because I I throw out like you know a couple of uh, discs. But you know, I've been to other parks in the, in Connecticut which shall remain nameless, but one of their, I'll name the coaster, the Wildcat. Man, I needed a chiropractor after that thing, but the Dragon Coaster is just perfect. It really is a great, like you you can ride that thing over and over and over. And when my dad was filming the commercial in the 70s, I remember he told me, you know, you would have gotten in some more close-ups if you cleaned, out, cleaned up your pimples. But uh, I rode that thing over and over and over, and I didn't get in the front row because of the pimples. I can't blame them, but. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, again, a memory that comes flooding back at you. Um, yeah, it's it's one of the remaining wooden coasters, which just makes it so beautiful and unique. Uh, and it, it isn't it isn't the thrilliest coaster, but it's just perfect. It's just the perfect length of time. It's the perfect turns and twists. You don't get too nauseous, and you just you just laugh. You laugh the entire ride. It's a it's an iconic park. Is it one of the oldest parks in America? It is one of the oldest parks, uh, 1928, as you mentioned. Uh, so we were in our 95th operating season. So we are really coming close to that 100th anniversary in um, 2028. So we're excited for that. And you also employ a lot of people. My brother back in the day used to clean the bathrooms. I mean, you know, my father said, go get a job. <laughs> we are. We are the single largest youth employer in Westchester County. So during the season, we employ close to 1,000 um, youth. And, you know, it's, it's great also because a lot of these kids, it's their first job, you know, in 11th grade and 12th grade. So it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. And then they come back with their kids. We've got somebody in our accounting department right now. She grew up in Harrison. She grew up loving the park. She came here every single weekend. They had season passes. She now works for the park, and so does her son. So talk about legacy. It's, it, it, there's stories like that all out there. I could name rides, you know, but we don't have time. But the, the House of Mirrors and uh, just the, the different coasters, like I said, the log flumed and, and just so many games and you're by the water. And again, during the winter, the hockey rinks are there. You know, the New York Rangers used to practice there. I don't know if they still do, but uh, Tom Hanks, you know, the famous Zoltar scene. You see that game and you think of Rye Playland. Immediately you think of Rye Playland, yeah, it's it's just, it's beyond a, a park. It's it's a park with amusements, and it's just, it's the sound, it's the beach, it's the pool, it's the park. It's it's an unbelievable experience. I've never really, even prior to my working there, I've never seen a park like it. With, with It's so beloved, and it is so cherished by so many. It's, it's great. Do you still have the paddle boats where people go out on the water? So we just reinstituted the paddle boats. We opened eight paddle boats, so you can either ride a dragon paddle boat or a swan paddle boat, and that's new this season. So it, you know, our goal is to do a lot of different activations um, year in, year out. We're in year two of a very aggressive five-year growth plan, so every single day there's something new and exciting. Was there, not to, to go down this road, but it's out of curiosity, was the park ever in danger of closing? Not to my knowledge, uh, but again, you know, it's an interesting marriage of private and public. So the land is owned by the County of Westchester, 
and Standard Amusements, the company that I work for, we've got the 30-year management contract. So it's wonderful. This, we're in our second year of a 30-year management contract, but we consider ourselves the stewards of the next 100 years. You know, we can help Westchester County shape what this park looks like for the next 30, 40, 50, 100 years. Yeah, and the design of the park really is great. It's not too big. It's just perfect. You, you don't feel like you're going to get lost. Um, it, it, the design of it is just uh, really incredible, you know? Yeah, and an interesting fact, it's the only theme park that was master planned. So back in the 20s, there was a master plan attached to it, the Art Deco styling. We just re, we've just redone the colonnades. So down the mall, which is the center midway, we've just redone the colonnades. So it look, the look and feel is, is Art Deco, and we have not, you know, we pay homage to the past every single day while trying to bring it, you know, into the future. So. Yeah, well, Stacy, this was so great. I mean, I could keep going, but, you know, I know you want to get back to the event. So let's wind down your segment here with just uh, summing up the event today because, you know, you, you did speak on stage there. And uh, although I, it was hard for me to hear, I was trying to get my food while everybody was listening to you. But uh, what was your message today for everybody here at uh, this awesome event? So our message is, and we are thrilled and honored to sponsor this event. Uh, we are we work so closely with the business council and Marsha and John Rabbits. It's ju it's just such a great group of networking, and all they want to do is get people together to better businesses day in and day out. It, it's an unbelievable group of people. I have made so many great friends here, not only business acquaintances and real friends. So. I, this, the summer soiree, it's the last event of the summer, and uh, we are thrilled to be a sponsor. Stacy Schuster, VP of Marketing and Sales at Rye Playland. You really do seem very passionate about your job. Um, you, you're the perfect fit to carry on the legacy of Rye Playland. Thank you. That means a lot, and I, I, I smile every day that I come to work. So Thank you so much. You are listening to Westchester Talk Radio. I, I created.